الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Surah Naba, the news in the name of Allah or oh, I begin in the name of Allah the most compassionate, the merciful section 1 ayat number 1 عَمَّ يَتَسَاءَلُونَ About what do they question one another? I number two. عَنِ النَّبَئِ الْعَظِيمِ This is about the great news. In the commentary it is mentioned. A very dangerous news, i.e. the news about the Day of Judgment. Or a very good news, i.e. the prophethood of the beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Or truly grand news about the personality, attributes and the praises of the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. The reason for saying the news of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wa Alihi Wasallam to be truly grand is because the attributes of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wa Alihi Wasallam are neither restricted to place nor time. And Allah Almighty gave the news of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam's attributes and the entire creation sang his praises. Those, any person who becomes the reciter of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam praises has achieved greatness. Ayn number three. Alladhi hum fihi mukh in which they have differences. In the commentary it is mentioned, some infidels call the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wa Alihi Wasallam a magician. Others call him a poet. Yet others call him insane. Some are rejectors of the Day of Judgment and some acknowledged it. Ayn number four. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyid al-mursaleen. Amma ba'd, fa'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim. My dear sweet Islamic brothers, let's recite through the park upon the beloved and blessed Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam. It's the day of Friday, inshallah. Close your eyes, lower your gaze towards the heart and picture the green dome. As-salatu wa salamu alayki ya Rasulullah. Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habib Allah. As-salatu wa salamu alayka ya Nabi Allah Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Noor Allah Excellence of reciting salutations upon the beloved and blessed Prophet Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam The exalted Prophet Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said Recite Dhru Sharif upon me in your gatherings as you're reciting the Dhru Sharif will be noor for you on the Day of Judgment. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has said repentance is to feel ashamed. So any sins that you've committed, we should feel ashamed in the court of Allah. In actual fact, 
Sometimes feeling ashamed of sins prove to be more beneficial than even the greatest or greatest worship. This does not mean in any way that one should not worship. These things depend upon the will of Allah Azza wa Jal. Sometimes feeling ashamed leads to salvation and sometimes worship does. So may Allah Azza wa Jal give us the ability to feel ashamed of our sins that we commit. And then after is to make repentance, is to make tawbah not to commit that sin again. We talked about this yesterday. And we don't even realize what, commits, what sins we commit. There is another form of repentance that is mentioned in the Madni in Amad. That after Salat al Isha, one should perform two nafal Salat al Toba. You never know, you might have uttered words of kufr. Because we talk a lot in our conversations, we waste a lot of time, worldly precious time. We laugh and joke and we make fun out of people and we upset their feelings. But remember, if you upset anybody's feelings, yes, you feel ashamed, you make tawbah in the court of Allah. But it's important to go up to that person to ask for forgiveness. I recall a story, one of the hadith of the beloved Prophet where a father was in search of his son and he could not find him. He came in the gathering of the beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wasallam, and he asked with permission, O Messenger of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, I have lost my son and I am in search for him and I'm looking for his whereabouts. Suddenly a companion stood up and he said, I know where his son is. And once he informed that companion about the son, he started to run from that gathering to go find his son. The Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa alihi wasallam ordered some of the companions to stop him and to listen to the beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa alihi wasallam. And he said to the father, when you go up to your son, do not call him son, meaning beta. He said, why ya Rasulullah? He's my son. And I've missed him for so many days. Or whether weeks. Or whether months. So, the Prophet ﷺ advised him about the unseen knowledge. The children he is playing with, if you call him beta, if you call him son, come here and you hug him, you're going to break the hearts of the other children. Meaning, this child was playing with a group of orphan children. Meaning, they didn't have mother and father. You see, this small impression in front of them is going to break their heart. So call him by his name when you see him. So you see, we have to be careful and not to break people's heart. And be careful with our words and weigh our words before we talk to anybody. Even in counseling, they will teach you how to speak to one another. Your body language is very important. And look at the sunnah of the beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Generally, he will look down with humbleness and respect. But we do, what do we do? We stare in the eyes when we are talking to one another. Yeah? So he would glance a few times and then he would look down. My dear Islam brothers, may Allah azza wa jal gives the ability to do true repentance and to feel ashamed of our sins. Ameen, ameen, bijahin nabil, ameen, sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa alihi wa sallam. Inshallah, straight after the dua, there will be a weekly through the park. So join us, inshallah. Ya ilahi raham farma Mustafa ke wasate Ya Rasool Allah karam ki jiye huda ke wasate 
مشکل حل کر شہ مشکل کشا کے واسطے کربلا رد شہید کربلا کے واسطے سید سجاد کے صدقے میں ساجد رکھ مجھے علم حق دے باکر علم ہدا کے واسطے صدق صادق کا تصدق صادق الاسلام کر بے غضب راضی ہو کازم اور رضا کے واسطے بہر معروف و سری معروف دے بے ہد سری جلد حق میں گل جلے دے باصفا کے واسطے بہر شبلی شیر حق دنیا کے کتوں سے بچا ایک کارک عبد واحد بے ریا کے واسطے بل فرح کا صدقہ کر غم کو فرح دے حسن و سعاد بل حسن او بو سعید ساد زا کے واسطے قادری کر قادری رکھ قادری او میں اٹھا قدر عبد القادر قدرت نما کے واسطے احسن اللہ لہم رزق السد رزق حسن بلدہ رزاق تاج الاسفیاء کے واسطے نصر بی صالح کا صدقہ صالح و منصور رکھ دے حیات دین محی جافزا کے واسطے دور ارفاع و علو و حمد و حسن و باغ دے علی موسیٰ حسن احمد بہا کے واسطے بہر ابراہیم مجھ پر نار غم غلزار کر بیک دے داتا بکار بادشاہ کے واسطے خوانہ دل کو زیاد روح و ایمان کو جمال شہزیہ مولا جمال الاولیاء کے واسطے دے محمد کے لیے روزی کر احمد کے لیے خوان فضل اللہ سے حصہ گدا کے واسطے دین دنیا کے مجھے برکات دے برکات سے عشق حق دے عشق عشق التماع کے واسطے حب اہل بیت دے آل محمد کے لیے کر شہید عشق حمزہ پیشوا کے واسطے دل کو اچھا تن کو سترا جان کو پر نور کر اچھے پیارے شمس دل بدر الالا کے واسطے دو جہاں میں خادم آل رسول اللہ کر حضرت آل رسول مقتدا کے واسطے کر عطا احمد رضائے احمد مرسل مجھے میرے مولا حضرت احمد رضا کے واسطے پرزیا کر میرا چہرہ حشر میں اے کبریا شہزیا ادیل پیر باصفا کے واسطے احیلا فی الدین والدنیا سلام بالسلام قادری عبد السلام اشہدا کے واسطے عشق احمد میں عطا کر چشم تر سوز جگر یا ہدا الیاس کو احمد رضا کے واسطے صدقہ ان آیا قدر چین از علم و عمل افوا ارفان آفیت اس بے نوا کے واسطے Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, accept this Madani Halqa in your court. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, we have performed Salat al-Fajr. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, accept Salat al-Fajr in your court. And with the blessing of this Halqa and Salat al-Fajr, enlighten our hearts, enlighten our faces, and give us the istiqamat in deen. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, give us the love of the Qur'an. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, give us the ability to fix a schedule. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, in our worldly, and deeny life to keep a balance ya allah azza wa jal in reforming ourselves and reforming our children ya allah azza wa jal protect our iman and grant us success in this world and the hereafter ya allah azza wa jal bless kashmir palestine and syria and mashal al-aqsa and iraq lebanon and all the muslim countries that are in tribulation and test, Ya Allah, remove this test from them. 
provide for them your provisions. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, take away the test and give them patience. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, and protect them from the enemies of Islam. Ya Allah, raise the rug of Islam, raise the flag of Islam, and make us dominant over the enemy. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, protect us from the pandemic. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, protect the dignity of Muslims. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, protect their jobs, protect their lifestyle. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, and keep them on the path of deen. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, make our masjids filled with worshippers, protect our masajids, and especially the Muslims in the UK. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, those brothers and sisters who have lost their businesses because of the pandemic, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, give them a good uh, blessings. Ya Allah, because of this sadma, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, protect their household and protect their fin financial status. Ya Allah, protect the financial status in Pakistan as well. Give Pakistan a ruj and success. Ya Allah, bless this gathering and bless Kabir, Wasim, Naim, Sajid Bai. Ya Allah, any sincere duas that they're making in your court, Ya Allah, accept the dua for the sake of Juma, for the sake of this Madani Halqa, for the sake of the beloved Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, our sisters behind the veil via radio are making a supplication. Ya Allah, for the sake of Juma. For the sake of Karbala, for the sake of Bibi Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha, and Sayyidina Aisha Sadiqa radiallahu ta'ala anha. Ya Allah, accept their supplication. Ya Allah, grant, us, grant them success, give them haya, Ya Allah, and take away all the problems of Parshaniya. Ya Allah, those brothers and sisters who have requested for du'as, Ya Allah, fulfill their du'as. Those who have left the dunya just recently, our brother Wajid Bai, who lost his uh, father-in-law, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, our brother Daniel Bai, uh, brother uh, uncle Iftihar, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah Ditta Bai, uh, Ajiz Ulfkar Bai's brother, Javed Bai, Ya Allah, all the Muslims who have departed with the Iman, Ya Allah, grant them success and relieve them from the punishment of the grave. إِلَّا اللَّهَ وَمَلَائِكَتَهُ يُسَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِيِّ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا سَلُّوا عَلَيْهِ وَسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد معدن الجود والكرم وعاله وبارك وسلم يا الله we are going to recite the weekly درود باك يا الله grant us the vision of the beloved prophet صلى الله تعالى عليه وسلم with the blessing of this درود باك Grant our sheikhs, Peter Murshid, our stads, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, high rank, high spiritual rank, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, and also bless Kashmir and Palestine and all the Muslim countries with the blessing of this Drude Park. Relieve them from all these calamities and relieve us from this pandemic. Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasifoon, Wa Salamun Ala Al Mursaleen, Wa Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Bihak La Ilaha. إلا الله محمد الرسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم